everybody. Home for you by Floyd P. Roberts. Home for you by Floyd P. Roberts. Hey, it's like raining out here like crazy. Uh, it's been raining all night. Uh, since yesterday morning, it was raining. And you know what? We need this rain. Uh, we need this rain in California. Especially in the dry out, burnt out desert. <laughs> Basically, you know what I mean? So it definitely needs to rain. Uh, especially in LA, uh, outskirts, Bakersfield, uh, Tulare, all the dry out places like Rancho Cucamonga, all those places. Definitely need to rain for sure. But I'm not a meteorologist. I'm not, I don't want to talk about the weather too much. Um, but we, it's rainy, that's why I want to, I'm in the car, got to look at a couple properties. Driving around and uh, on the way to the office, just checking some things out. You know, so I'm going to talk about the market. You know, everybody talk about the real estate market. And uh, this is a lengthy one. I'm be in the road for a minute, so I'll tell you my take on what's going on right now. You know, you guys probably hear about uh, the banks falling out, the FDIC, uh, Wells Fargo. Silicon Valley's in trouble, and banking market, the industry, the banks are going to go belly up, and all these other things that you hear about it, and everything else. But I want to make something clear, very clear that this all doesn't happen by chance, right? There are people involved in the banking industry that make things happen and not make things happen. And consider that. Think about that. All right. We have American Bank in the industry, World Bank, uh, China's Bank, BOC, Bank of China, all these other th all these other banks, right? But we'll get into that a little later. But what, what I really want to talk about is the market, the real estate market. And a lot of things is hindering on the real estate market, but mainly if everyone doesn't live on the street, right? Everybody doesn't live on the open. Everything, people need a place to live, right? Especially here in America, definitely need a place to live. Now, the real estate has been up for the last five to seven years because it's been down for seven years ago, 2007. We had that bust, right? It all started from Enron. Now, let's fast forward a little bit. Now, the last three years, actually the last five years, post-pandemic, uh, where the interest rates were almost down to zero, right? And basically, the housing market was crazy. There's a lot of people who made a lot of money on real estate. There's a lot of people that came in that bought up a lot of investments, a lot of real estate, right? Now think about that. There's a lot of people bought a lot of real estate. Zillow, all these other banking industries, right? So they bought a lot of in, a lot of real estate. And now that the interest rate is high and people can't fulfill their obligations on those investments that they did, and these are a lot of properties in America and around the world, basically. So guess what? All of a sudden, the banks are going belly up. Now, you got to remember, if the banks go belly up, that's it, right? But guess what? The real estate is still there. So just like a foreclosure, if you foreclose on the house... It goes back to the uh, to the trustee, the trustor, and also to the beneficiary. And guess what? Everybody gets a new slate. But I, I don't want to talk about that right now. Okay, that's all speculation. Follow the money trail. You'll see where it goes. But anyway, let's talk about the market. Right now, interest rates in the mid six point seven. Okay, that's a thirty year fixed loan. The average VA loan is about the same, 6.2 on the 30-year fix, 0% down. And the uh, 
the five to seven year arm, still right in the back there. 5.9, 5.8, still up there. Everything is up right now. Everything is up. So people don't know where it's going to go, what's going on. People are still getting qualified, all those things, but it's still relatively interest rate is high. Now the Federal Reserve, the Feds are not going to lower interest rates. I'm telling you that right now. It may fluctuate a little bit. Now that's for the 30 year fix as far not the not the students for financial industry, but I'm talking about the Federal Housing Association, the housing market for, for real estate. Now they are not gonna lower interest rates. It's not going to go back down the way it was 4.3, 4.5, where it was a year ago or more previously. It's not going to go down. With inflation looking at 7 8%, it's going to hit a 9. It is not going to go down, ladies and gentlemen. I can tell you that right now. It's not going anywhere. Now, there's got to be an offset somewhere, right? Especially in the Silicon Valley tech, um, tech capital world, okay? Something has to give, right? Now, one more to give. Now, here we go. We're going to talk to the bank now. What more is going to give than have some banks lose money, your money, people money, to the point where they go belly up, and guess what? Who's gonna come to the rescue? Who's gonna come to the rescue? Do you know who? Well, I tell you who, Uncle Sam, of course. Good old Uncle Sam. Same thing he did with the automotive industry in 2008. Bailed them out. Guess who's gonna bail it out? Uncle Sam, of course. Good old Uncle Sam. He's going to do his thing. Mark my word on it. You have a lot. This is not, this is not the end. You're going to see a lot more. A lot more banking industries are going to be losing money, get it off their books, and calling for Uncle Sam to bail them out. In return, you're going to see the market in retreat, as you're probably already seeing it right now. With well, interest rates still high, you see the market still in retreat, and people are going to lose a lot of their equity. And that's the main thing what I want to talk about today, is the equity in your home. For the most part, within the last year and a half, two years, three years even, with the price being inflated, yes, the whole prices were inflated to offset the cost of the low interest and everything else, people received a lot of equity in their home. And if you don't know what I mean by equity, equity is the profit of what your home is worth compared to what the market rate is and what you paid down on your loan. If you have, if you paid off your home, for instance, for instance if you paid off your home, you own, you own your home free and clear, you have what's called 100% equity in your house. That means it's the full value. If you have a $400,000 loan on your house and you owe $200,000, your equity in your home is $200,000 plus or minus where actually your loan is at. So that's the equity, basically it's the profit or what you paid down on your loan for the market value of your home. If you don't understand what I'm saying. If you don't, call me and i explain to you more. But that's basically the nuts and bolts of what I'm talking about, the equity in your house. If you're gonna get a loan on your home, they're gonna look at the equity or reverse mortgage or whatever else, whatever loan you get, they're gonna look at the equity in your house and say, okay, you have this much equity, well, this is what you can get. If you, um, whatever loan you get, whatever is out there that you want. But anyway, I want to talk about equity today. So if you have equity in your home, 
right? And you are losing your job, per se, perhaps. You may get sick. Uh, you may want to move. You have that equity to do some certain things that you can do to get you to the next level that you want to do. What I mean by that is you can either move down, get into a smaller home, if your kids have in college or get married or they're gone, they're not coming back to your home, and you're in like a four or five bedroom house, maybe you live in a mansion, I don't know. Maybe you want to stay there, just you and your spouse or by yourself. You're the only one in the house. You say, okay, this house is too big for me. I don't need this anymore. Um, you don't want to sell it. Or you may rent out a room. If you want to do that, you want roommates again. You got to deal with their mess. Or you want to move down. You can sell that property. Move to a smaller house. Capitalize on the gains of it, the equity that you have. And you're in a better place. You have a lower payment. You may be able to buy a house cash that you don't have to worry about and you have no payments. The only thing you only have is your property tax and insurance. So that's that's the situation that you may look at if you have auto percent equity or half equity or whatever you do you want to do with your house. You say, boy, okay, I may not have that much equity in my house. What do I do? What can I do? Maybe I'm 80 years old. And this is one thing I was looking at the other day. You can get what's called a reverse mortgage. Now, reverse mortgages has been, it's had a lack of negative connotation, it's connotation, a negative uh, respect in the community of real estate for a very long time. But a lot of laws has changed where you can get a reverse mortgage if you have 100% equity in your house or more equity than you think that you have, you have to check it. You have what's called a reverse mortgage that will help you pay your house off, pay you, actually pay you to live within five to 10 years, depending on what loan you get, and you have no loan payment for that time. Now, for example, if you will your house to one of your kids or a family member, endowment, whatever the kids may, whatever the, the, the situation is, if you will that to someone and you want to live for, the say, the next 10 years, 15, 20 years, and you have that much equity in your house, you can set it up to where you get a loan and you get a payment for your house, but you don't have to pay back until, with interest, you decide to sell the house or you will the house or whatever the case may be for the next 10 to 20 years. That is an option, okay? This other option that you have that you can do to offset your living condition and situation, maybe you need to go into a retirement home. That money can be used for that purpose. Now, you want to look into it with that, obviously, whatever your will is and trust that you have set up for your the rest of your life. But I'm just saying, in general, you may not be 80 years old. You may be to get a reverse mortgage, you need to be 62 years or older. 62 years or older to get a reverse mortgage. In some states it may be different, but that's the average for a reverse mortgage. Now, that's one option. That's one of the options. If you're in a dire straits with some cash, you want to make an investment, other things like that. Like I said, I'm not a, a financial debt and, um, advisor. I just know what's available, making it what's available to you in that situation. Okay, well, hey, I'm not 62, I'm 55, or whatever, you have equity in your home. You make what's called a HELOC, okay, equity line of credit, depending on what situation you're in, to put you in a different situation. There's always options for you once you own your home. And that's why a lot of people are 
I don't want to own a home I'm going to rent the rest of my life. Hey, whatever floats your boat, if you want to do that, fine. You can do that if you want to. But if you want the finance, uh, real real estate, what it does, it just makes the opportunity and makes your decisions and makes your options in life um, different. You can you have options. A lot of people don't think they have options. You do have a lot of options when you own your own home as a renting. Um, things like that. You go in a condo, but everything else is taking care for you and all you need to do to pay those dues if you want to do that that's another option so the biggest thing is how do i own a home first i'll get your credit straightened out that's another segment if this is helpful for you if you find it's helpful subscribe let me know if i can help you in any situation in any way all right if this was helpful subscribe if you want to talk more about equity in your house, uh, whatever the situation is, give me a call. I'm going to put my phone down here, 661-489-0407, 661-489-0407. Check my website out. I have a lot of videos that shows different things. If it's helpful for you, if it's helpful for you, hey, if it's not, hey, what can I say? Well, this is valuable information. Okay, every week I study and I'm trying to bring information to you to get your options open. A lot of people don't look at their options. A lot of people don't investigate stuff. They just go on what people tell them and what they see on the internet. You know, for example, you take your car to a mechanic. A lot of people go to the next door neighbor because what? Joe Blow next door, or Bob, or whatever, knows more about the professional, a doctor, or a mechanic, or whatever. You know, you need to take time out, first of all, to investigate things for yourself, to do the research for yourself, so you'll know where you're at, okay? I'll give a perfect example. For me personally, I want to be more healthy. That means I have to do more research on natural things that's going to help me live a better life and more healthier life. You know, I know, for example, sugar is not good for you. So why go to eat all donuts? I got, you know what I'm saying? If, if sugar is bad for you, why the hell you go to eat donuts? Drink all the um, hot soda, monster drink, all these things. This is what I used to do five, six years ago. Just eat people bring you donuts by the office and burritos. And, you know, nothing wrong with a burrito, but you need to be healthy with a burrito. But all the rice, cheese, all that stuff. It's, when you eat, when you reach a certain age, it's not good for you. You can't eat all those things. It's bad for you. So change if you need to change. Do the research and change. Go to the doctor, get a checkup, have them check your blood pressure, see what your blood pressure is. If you got high blood pressure, if maybe you have to get on pills or whatever, are we going to exercise, walk, <coughs> change your diet, drink more water? What do you have to do to change your life? Do the research what you want to do because the, that's another option. There's another, there's another option for you. There's other things you can do to make a better life for yourself. Do the research. Research it. You know? So those are other things that I you know, want to talk about to where it can help you be the best you can be. You know? You don't want to just live your life and suffer. You don't have to suffer. That they have to suffer. No, you don't. There's other options. Just take time to do the research, look it up, ask questions by a professional. By a professional. Okay? A person that knows what they're talking about to do this day in, day out, and that's actually successful at what they're doing. 
I'm not going to ask a person something about my health that doesn't, that's going to, that's not eating right, that's not doing what they're supposed to do, that's overweight and just doing whatever. I'm going to ask a professional, a doctor. You know, if you want to compete at a high level, that's the research and that's the thing you have to do to make yourself better. You know, so get back to real estate, interest rates, all those other things, you know, that's where it's at. So like I said earlier, follow the money trail. You know, it's just, there's no, it's not by chance these banks are going belly up, people. Don't believe that. It's not by chance that Wells Fargo um, is under suit again for overcharging people with all the other things they did. There's no, there's no, it's not by chance that Bank of America is in trouble again. These people do these things on purpose. Willingly, maliciously do these things on purpose to mislead the people, the public, and they get a bailout. They get a bailout. Look who's going to jail over this stuff. Look at who, who actually goes to jail. You know, but anyway, Floyd Roberts, hopefully you buy Floyd P. Roberts. Just drive into the office, want to talk about, you know, it's raining, can't be outside, you know. Uh, so think about it. If this was helpful for you, give me a call, let me know. Hey, if you think Floyd here, you're a bunch of garbage, hey, let me know, y'all want to know that also. <laughs> like it really matters. Hopefully, you by Floyd P. Roberts, follow the money trail. Subscribe. We'll get back at you. We need the rain. It's lovely. I love the weather. And we'll talk to you soon.